What I don't understand about the BBC is the way it puts a spin on things and distorts the reality. So Sergei Shoigu is certainly being replaced as defence minister. At the same time, the much more serious uh, replacement is that Nikolai Patrushev uh, loses his post as secretary of the Security Council, uh, which is now going to Sergei Shoigu. And we don't know what, rule, what role Patrushev is going to go to. Shoigu has been in charge of the Defence Ministry since 2012. In fact, I know the Defence Ministry. Um, it's sort of tucked around the back from uh, uh, of where I used to live. And uh, Putin has proposed uh, appointing a fellow called Andrei Belusov as the new Defence Minister. The person who's going to lose out in all this is Patrushev, uh, and he was at one point the director of the FSB. So I don't understand the BBC's angle here, which is that uh, Sergei Shoigu is on the way out, particularly as Russia is now celebrating a serious advance um, towards Kharkiv. And, uh, and, and, of course, Putin is desperate for some good news from Ukraine to defend the entire uh, special military operation and its, quote, success. It's not helped. It's not helped by distortions in Western media reporting, is it? What we need to do is to stick as closely as possible to the truth. And uh, Putin has been revolving uh, his little group of pawns for some time. So, for, for that matter, has Zelensky. It doesn't mean very much. And Shoigu definitely has been out of sight for a good few weeks out of sight, but not necessarily out of mind and certainly not out of the game.